As inflation continues to impact families, Governor Spencer Cox recommending $20 million for students experiencing homelessness in his 2024 budget and a new $500,000 teen center at Woods Cross High School hopes to help students who need it most. Yes, ABC 4's Northern Utah correspondent Kate Garner joining us from the school with what the center will do for students, Kate. The Davis School District has 17,000 students who are facing hunger and another 1,200 who are facing homelessness. Now this center here at Woods Cross High will make sure that any student has access to necessities. <laughs> students celebrate the grand opening of their Teen Resource Center. We raised around $150,000, which is a huge deal. In total, the community brought in half a million dollars for the project. I'd just like to say how proud I am of our Woods Cross students who still try their best to come to school despite their challenging circumstances. Um, they're resilient, seriously, and they deserve all the help they can get. Students will have access to laundry facilities, a food pantry, private bathrooms and showers, but most importantly, access to adults who care. Some of the students that we work with have had really tough lives, but um, they have so many people that care about them in this space. Cabri Smith is one of those adults. We really hope that students use this space as a safe place for them to be themselves and to realize that they're worth all the resources that we have. The sad reality is that this is needed. More than 1,000 students in the county face homelessness, and Smith says many are currently living in cars. It's nothing to be ashamed of to come in and ask for help, and we have students who bring a friend because they came and had a positive experience and know the resources are here. As inflation continues to impact families, Governor Spencer Cox is recommending $20 million for students experiencing homelessness in his 2024 budget. This would be an amazing day in Utah if every school School could create a place and a safe place for our students. There are now half a dozen student resource centers open across the Davis School District with three more in the works. Reporting in Woods Cross, Kate Garner, ABC4 News.